Welcome to Japan English News Quick Scan. Today's headlines. Tokyo records 9,699 new COVID cases on January 21st, third straight record high. Japan's capital reported 9,699 coronavirus cases on January 21st, marking a new high for the third day in a row after recording 8,638 infections on January 20th and 7,377 cases on January 19th. Of the 9,699 new patients, 4,521 had received two COVID-19 vaccine shots, 101 shot, and 2,441 were unvaccinated. The vaccination status of 2,637 was unknown. Japan faces putting majority of 47 prefectures under COVID quasi-emergency. More than half of Japan's 47 prefectures are set to come under a quasi-state of emergency as 13 more areas including Osaka announced they are seeking, or are moving to seek, restrictions on restaurants and bars to cope with surging coronavirus infections. Osaka, Kyoto and Hyogo in western Japan, as well as Hokkaido, Fukushima, Ibaraki, Tokigi and Shizuoka prefectures requested the measure Friday as the country's daily coronavirus cases top 47,000, renewing the record for the fourth straight day. Experts, fewer tests, looser measures needed in Omicron wave. In a drastic policy shift to protect medical services, health experts said that young people with COVID-19 symptoms should be considered infected with the novel coronavirus without taking tests for confirmation. They also said tough restrictions on people's movements and other activities are not necessary in the latest wave of infections led by the Omicron variant. Suicides dip for first time in two years but remain above 20,000. The number of suicides in Japan in 2021 dropped only slightly from the previous year to 20,830, after seeing the figure increase in 2020 for the first time in 11 years amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Preliminary figures released on January 21 by the Health Ministry showed the number fell 251, or 1.2 percent, from 2020. The suicide rate in 2021 per 100,000 people stood at 16.5 nationwide. The rate for men was 22.5, while that for women was 10.8. Ten officials disciplined for shady compiling of economic statistics. Ten high-ranking infrastructure ministry bureaucrats received penalties and other disciplinary measures for the years of inflated construction contract figures used in key economic statistics. Infrastructure Minister Tetsuo Sato, his two senior vice ministers and three parliamentary secretaries will voluntarily return four months of pay. Six people to sue TEPCO over thyroid cancer after Fukushima nuclear disaster. A group of six young men and women is set to file a class action suit against Tokyo Electric Power Company Holdings Incorporated, claiming that they developed thyroid cancer due to exposure to radiation emanating from the Fukushima nuclear disaster, and demand the utility pay a total of 616 million yen in compensation. It will be the first group lawsuit in Japan by those who were minors at the time of the 2011 nuclear disaster and have since been diagnosed with thyroid cancer. China mandates three-day Olympic torch relay amid virus concerns. China is limiting the torch relay for the Winter Olympic Games to just three days amid coronavirus worries, organizers said Friday. The flame will be displayed only in enclosed venues that are deemed safe and controllable according to officials speaking at a news conference. No public transit routes would be disturbed and normal life would continue for the 20 million residents of the capital, where a handful of new COVID-19 cases have been recorded over recent days. United Nations Chief, World Worse Now Due to COVID, Climate, Conflict As he starts his second term as UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres said Thursday the world is worse in many ways than it was five years ago because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the climate crisis and geopolitical tensions that have sparked conflicts everywhere, but unlike U.S. President Joe Biden he thinks Russia will not invade Ukraine. UNSC holds emergency meeting on N-Korea missiles. 
the United Nations Security Council has held an emergency meeting to discuss how to respond to North Korea's recent ballistic missile launches. The closed-door meeting took place on Thursday. The United States, Britain and France are among the countries that requested it. North Korea has fired missiles toward the Sea of Japan on four occasions since the beginning of this year. Six missiles in total were launched. Pyongyang has said that it fired hypersonic missiles and tactical guided missiles. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow.